for the result, oh. Nothing to discuss, oh. Cause I take my wife without and without any doubt, oh. I'm a me happy adult, oh. I don't go feed the girl. I don't go feed the girl, it's out, oh. I'm a mind that's you to talk, oh. I put my life into my job and I know I'm in trouble. She manipulate my love, oh. I know holy, and I know that I can't go. I We are on Governor's Island, very impromptu. After I got my lashes and I was like, I look cute. Let me go outside today, take myself out on a little date because you guys know I love me a cute solo date. And I've always wanted to come to Governor's Island, so I was like, let's do that. And it's free. We're just like, let's go enjoy nature. And yeah, you guys, first time here, we're gonna go exploring. We're gonna go sightseeing, I guess. And the views of New York are so beautiful. It low key gives Dubai, but not really. But yeah, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amina. I have been gone for a while, but I'm back. And with a subtle rebrand we're gonna get into everything where i've been all of the above and a few before right now we're just gonna enjoy our day hopefully find some place to eat i know there's many restaurants here but yeah um, i'm just gonna be walking around because i don't know how to ride a bike yeah my big age i don't know how to ride a bike and when i was looking it up on tiktok while i was on my way here apparently it's only bike and like mini ATVs, but they're not really ATVs, but you need more than one person to operate them, so. But yeah, it's only me out here, so I gotta walk, use my two legs. I'm blessed to be able to use my two legs, I ain't complaining. My lashes look good, I look good. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm happy, okay, I'm happy. Hello, thank you so much. Are you looking for anything in particular in I'm kind of hungry, this is my first time here. I'm, yeah, first time here, I've never been here before. I'm kind of hungry and I'm low key, interested in going to the hammock grove. All right. Oh, that's perfect then. Is there um, food any, anywhere near yeah, there? Yeah, there's, there's plenty of food near the hammock grove. Um, uh, if you head to the Wicked Terrace area, mm -hmm. if you look on your map right here, I think it's better than you stand it out. Um, we're, we're right here at Swanson's Landing, so okay. if you make your way around that road okay. um, and turn to your left, you should see this uh, place called Liggett Hall. It's going to be very wide, okay. very big building, and through the center, there should be an, a huge archway. You should be able to see it. You, won't, you can't miss it. Okay. You go through that archway, there's a bunch of food trucks there. Um, there's coffee, there's uh, vegetarian, there's Jamaican, there's oh, wow. burgers. Yeah, there's a lot of food there. Um, and then once you get something to eat, you can go to Hammock Grove, but I will say that Hemet Grove, yeah. the pathways there might be a bit obscure, so it might take a while to find them. But so fine, okay. Yeah, but so it's, it's not like a, a straight walkway to It's Hemet. not really okay. straight, but like oh, in the paths around it. Yeah. Like right here. Mm -hmm. you see these like kind of faded um, walkways. Yeah. yeah. So you're going to kind of like really thin walkways, maybe like maybe like around seven feet wide at most. Okay. You go through one of those walkways, there should be plenty of hammocks there. Okay, thank you so much. So, okay, so we're right here, right? And then we go this way, and then we go, where's the name, what's the name of the place again? What place? Lisa Liggett. Liggett Hall. Yeah. Liggett Hall. Um, so you head down Andy's Road, you see that? Andy's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the Andy's Road, and go south to down Hay Road, 
and turn to your right. Okay, and road. you should go through Wigget Hall, the big arch. Okay. Wigget Terrace, there should be plenty of food trucks okay. there. And just explore Hammock Grove. Then. Okay, thank you so much. So what's on this side of the um of the island? Oh, it's like that side of the island where like parts of this part, like Lone Park. Oh, like more historical places. Yeah, that's oh, okay. It's I'm the gonna... longer way around, but I highly recommend it if you like historical stuff. And like okay. About the island. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Have a good one. So we're on our way to Liggett Hall because I'm kind of hungry. Your girl hasn't eaten anything all day. We gonna walk over there, yo. I'm so jealous. Everybody's riding a bike. Me at my big age. I don't know. <laughs> I need to learn. No, it's not funny. It's really not funny. I really need to learn how to ride a bike because it's not even funny no more. Like, I would have been in like five minutes. Now, I'm walking, lace sweating. <laughs> it is what it is though. We're going to enjoy the weather. Um, but yeah, no. I need to learn how to ride a bike. This is not funny. This is not funny. Like, if you're watching this, this is your sign to learn how to ride a bike. Don't be like me. Because literally, they have city bikes here um, for rent. And city bikes are really, really affordable. The last time I like ever rented one when I was trying to learn, it was like $4 for 30 minutes. So, look at me. Out of breath. <laughs> because I gotta walk. So, don't be like me. Learn how to ride a bike. On the back of Uh, that's the only thing that's open. Yes, please. Oh, it's a few. It's a few spots open. Okay, thank you so much. Is this the Jamaican restaurant? Hi. Thank you so much. So you got the comfortable spot to sit. But somebody that worked here was so nice and kind to offer me a ride to like the little food truck area. He told me it was food trucks, but he didn't tell me that they closed really, really early. So a lot of the restaurants are closed. Almost everything is closed actually. It's only one restaurant was open and it was a vegan soul food restaurant, black owned too. They were so nice. I actually bought these waters from them. Um, They were so nice and yeah, everything else is closed, but it's so peaceful out here. And I'm not really hungry like I thought I was. Um, I just didn't eat, so I was like, I need to get something to me. But I'm not really hungry, you know what I'm saying? I'm just thirsty, and I'm so glad I bought two waters. But let's get into some things. I've actually been sitting out here for a while, just enjoying the scenery, everything. I've been MIA on all platforms, everything. And I have something to tell you guys. <laughs> Your girl is psyched. <laughs> Imagine. I'm not pregnant, I'm not pregnant, I'm joking, I'm joking. Imagine, no, I'm not pregnant. But I've actually been going through some things. I was in such a dark place in my life for months. You guys have definitely like caught on to it, realized it, because I have not been as consistent for almost a year now. And it's just like, dang, like life is crazy. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I want to get back to my old self, right? But I'm going to be honest with you, I can't remember my old self and when i say that it's not because oh i have bad memory it's because of the fact that i feel like ever since i've become an adult i've just faced so much shit excuse my language i feel like the one normal year that i had as an adult as an adult legally when i turned 18 i feel like life was cool that was the only year where i feel like my mental was stable 19 boom parents get divorced 20 boom it's a whole global pandemic 21 boom like it's just I go through so much and I don't want to like you know put out so much negativity also I'm also a very private person so it's like a lot of you guys probably even know my parents are divorced and it took a really really big toll on me and I never thought that I would really be able to like you know get on here and be like yeah my parents are divorced like so casually cuz y'all when I was going through it I was going through it okay so for me to be able to say it so casually now it just shows growth and it just proves to me that whatever I'm going through in the moment is just for the moment like it's literally just for the moment don't get me wrong I still have my days where I'm just thinking about about you know how life used to be it's life you know so you got to continue going and showing up for yourself and I feel like I wasn't showing up for myself especially 
the, in the past months, I definitely have not been showing up for myself. Like, you know, I would have moments that I would, but I have not been showing up for myself. And if I sound emotional, it's because I am, but I'm I'm really in like a better place right now. That's even why I'm even able to get on camera and, and say it. I have not been showing up for myself. And it showed, not only internally, mentally, also physically, your girl gained weight, y'all. Like, I gained weight. And that's why you always have to be kind to people, not only just me. I mean, be kind to me, please, because I've done nothing to nobody. But that's why you always have to be kind to people because you never know what people are going through, what people have experienced. You just never know. So just choose kindness before anything else. A few months back, even I still get comments to this day. Amina, oh my God, like you're gaining your weight back. You're gaining your weight back. This and the third. And it's just like, yeah, I know I'm gaining my weight back. It's my body. I, I, feel, I realize it. When the jeans I used to wear three, four months ago no longer fit me. Yeah, I realize I gained weight. Like, shit happens. Life happens. You know what I'm saying? My body is literally just a vessel. My soul and my spirit is what defines me. Everything that I do is with pure intent. You get what I'm saying? And I get comments like that so frequently, like so frequently. You guys would be surprised. I just delete them. Not only for my sake, but for other people's sake, because you really don't know who's watching, who's reading those comments, who might get affected by those comments. So I just delete them. You get what I'm saying? And I block you. That's literally, I'm going to block you. I know people are like, oh, I'm not going to block you. You can stay here and watch my. No, I'm just going to block you. Okay? I haven't been in the greatest mental head spaces for a while but like I'm slowly getting there I'm not gonna say and say I'm 100% healed I'm slowly getting there so it made me take a break from social media I mean it really wasn't even a break because I was still on social media like I would be on Instagram and stuff like that I would watch stories or whatever I just have not been posting so it made me take a pause from posting was my car accident I can't even talk about it legally like I'm not even trying to be so extra I literally cannot talk about it legally but it was a very traumatic experience for me both mentally and physically i literally have to take a step back and realize that i really could have been gone from this earth like i'm so serious like i could have been gone from this earth and i don't want it i don't want it to be so dark or whatever like so heavy but like i literally could have been gone from this earth because of someone else's doing you know what i'm saying so i had to step back and like literally take in my life as it is right now and reflect on a lot of things but because that was a very traumatic experience for me um happened a few weeks back and I have not driven since hence the reason why I've been taking Ubers, trains, everything. It was a very traumatic experience for me. I posted it on IG, you guys saw me my neck brace or whatever. First off, I want to say thank you to everybody that reached out and has checked up on me. I really did not know I had this much of an effect on people's lives because I was receiving DMs the past couple of days like, I mean, you know, we really miss you. We know you're taking some time for your mental health and everything, but like, your vlogs your videos just seeing you on my screen makes me happy and i didn't i didn't think that i had that much of an effect on anybody i'm gonna be completely honest i thought i'm just sitting here talking through a camera and that's it like i know it was i know it's more to it but so many days where i feel so defeated with youtube i'm gonna be completely we're gonna be we're gonna keep it raw don't don't worry this vlog is not gonna be so down we're gonna keep it raw and honest it's so many days where i'm so defeated on youtube um, not because I'm trying to compare myself to other people, seeing other people's progress or whatever. I'm happy for everybody. I'm just, like, I just be feeling defeated. Like, literally, it be me versus me. Because if you do YouTube or whatever, you guys know, whenever you upload a video, it'll literally say how the video is doing compared to your other videos in the past period, like the past 28 days. So, like, say I put so much effort into a video, right? And it's doing 10 out of 10. Like, that means it's doing bad. You get what I'm saying? That really affects me in, like, a down mood. And I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just numbers. I'm very bored easily. And I feel like my content got repetitive. That is just how I feel. Um, I feel like I was doing the same things. And I don't know. I just wanted to change. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to change. So even my break, right? I was literally reflecting on all aspects of my life, including YouTube. So I did a subtle rebrand. How are you guys feeling the new intro? very simple straight to the point it's a subtle rebrand okay across all my platforms but I just want to you know really show up for myself basically that's basically it I really just want to start showing up for myself um, I want to start making decisions that are going to help me in the long run um, it's time for me to be selfish I'm gonna be real it's time for me to be selfish and that's it but that's basically it that's where I've been um, 
enough of the heavy shit let's get into some fun my camera is blinking so i'm gonna switch to my phone hopefully you guys don't mind that i only have one battery on me because i didn't think i was gonna do anything today um so yeah you guys i am getting so hot i'm about to bring this scarf down because i'm scared <laughs> that my freaking lace is just gonna lift and look crazy even though i really shouldn't even care because it's like it's, it's a material okay it's a fabric i don't what it, I never claimed for this to be my real hair, but you know, you still gotta look, you still gotta look good. Much, much better. I feel way more secure. Getting in the sun so I can see my melanin. So back to food though. I'm not hungry, right? So I don't want to go to the restaurant. So even if I really wanted to go to the restaurants, um, the person that was helping me, he told me how, um, first off, it's a Friday, right? So everything is booked and it's like five, five o'clock, six o'clock right now. Everybody's coming in from work to set off the weekend or whatever so it's not the best choice because everything is going to be packed and i completely understand i don't want to be you know surrounded by so many people like i just don't want to so i'm like i don't know what i want to do do i leave here not leave here right now but like do i just get food once i leave the island instead of getting food um someplace else i think that might just be the smartest choice because i really want like a salad like a really really good salad so I might go to Chick-fil-A and get a salad, I know. I'm on a date right now, so I feel like I should take myself to a restaurant. Like a nice, a nice restaurant, right? I definitely should. But yeah, that's it for the food situation. My skin is looking good, yo. My skin has gotten so much better because I've been consistent with my skincare and my skincare products are A1. I'm still trying to perfect everything. And when I perfect it, I might show you guys my skincare routine or whatever. Um, even though my skin is not perfect because I still have hyperpigmentation because of years and years and years of not being disciplined enough and not popping my pimples, but um, it's like it happens, okay? But yeah, I'm gonna just enjoy my day with nature. I don't really wanna walk around because I'm actually on my cycle right now, so it's not really comfortable for me to walk around. But yeah, I'm gonna just enjoy my day, sit down, drink some water, listen some music, listen to Burner's new album. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. What the fuck? Your body drive me crazy. Your body need a license fit. Your body are too tight to me. Anybody who got eyes can see. She just wanna dance and tease. She just wanna dance and tease me. 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 Yeah, your body at the tight, tight. Anybody who got eyes can't see. 
It is hours later. It is currently uh, the next day. It is 12.34 the next day. I got home around 8 o'clock. My phone literally died on the train because I did not have no charger on me. I'm so used to like having my charger in my car. I didn't have no charger on me, nothing. So I knew how to get home. That's really all that mattered. Um, I'm very familiar with the city. Like once I'm in Manhattan, I'm good. I know how to get home from Manhattan. So I charged my camera battery. And y'all, I've been replying back to so many emails. So many emails this past week like while I was taking my break or whatever I was still working in a sense I was pitching myself to a lot of brands a lot of brands that I've always wanted to work with like today I got so many responses I've secured so many deals and I'm not trying to brag in no way shape or form I'm not trying to do it at all whatsoever but I want to give you guys some type of motivation I know a lot of people are manifesting your dream collab the second third you actually have to put the work in it don't get me wrong there are some instances where a brand will literally see your content and want to work with you but that's not always the case you have to put yourself in front of these brands to be real every content creator does it some content creators just have managers that do it for them but every content creator is being pitched every single one I've literally been pitching myself to so many brands and i got back so many like responses positive responses so many deals and so many potentials for q4 let's get into the influencer game i'm still learning but from what i can understand right now is the perfect time to be pitching yourself to influencers i mean right now is the perfect time to be pitching yourself to brands because in quarter four if you guys don't know why quarter four is so important it's because it's holiday season it's shopping season brands are going to be spending all of the money that they've had from the previous quarters that they've been saving up on quarter four all that advertisement that they held back on in the previous months they're going to be dropping that bag in quarter four you get what i'm saying they're gonna be dropping that bag in quarter four because it's shopping season that's when everybody is shopping regardless if you celebrate christmas or not people are just shopping because there's so many sales going on to my smaller content creators out there right now it's the perfect time to be pitching yourself to brands making yourself seen to brands but the reason why i say right now in particular towards the end of summer well not even the end more so the middle of summer is because when summer is over brands are going to be sending out their emails to content creators influencers that they want nine times out of ten some of these brands already know who they want and who they want to work with so it's really important for you to make yourself seen everybody's trying to make themselves seen by a brand whether or not they do it so directly as i've been doing it or indirectly like say for instance i want to work with skims even i do want to work with skims right say i want to work with skims you don't want them to know that you want to work with them okay cool i'm gonna do a unsponsored skims haul and post it on my channel so they can see me and they want to work with me people every content creator does it whether they're doing it indirectly or directly but me i'm gonna do it directly because i just want to get straight to the point it's not brands that i'm just picking out the sky it's brands that i've shopped at it is brands that i feel like i'm a perfect fit for it is brands that fit my niche if that makes sense so i'm not just picking random brands just to work with just to get money because that doesn't make sense because at the end of the day if it's something that's out of the blue out of the ordinary you guys are definitely gonna check me for that so no i don't even you guys know i don't rock like that but um yeah i pitched myself to so many brands and the way that i've been pitching i've just been sending like dms or whatever so i would just dm brands like hey like 
you know <laughs> want to work together not like that like i have a well written message for every brand that i you know dm the worst response that you're probably going to get is no response that's literally it no brand is going to be like oh um we don't think you're a great fit so we're not going to take you no one is going to say that literally no one is going to say that so do not feel discouraged if you're not getting any responses back it, it is it happens you know what i'm saying but once i have the contact details of the brands that i would like to work with shoot them an email pitching myself says who i am um the type of content that i create what else and and how i would like to work with them so you have to put everything in that one email so they can see you attach your youtube channel attach everything that you feel like they need to see to be like okay yeah we want to work with her you know what i'm saying or him but yeah i've just been pitching myself and i've just been receiving so many like positive responses and it's really just motivating me to continue even though i was talking about earlier how i do get discouraged with youtube it's just been motivating me to continue because it's brands that i've seen like my favorite content creators work with and i'm just like wow this is so inspiring like i just want to continue and continue doing more but literally i had to shop for two brands like clothing brands i had to shop for two clothing brands and that took a while the girl loves some clothes especially with the clothing brands that um i'm shopping from it's just uh, i'm so happy and overwhelmed with joy like i'm so happy um but yeah i had to shop for two clothing brands i had to reply back to so many emails um um i secured three deals and i'm, I'm really not trying to brag but i secured three deals on i think it was what day is it today? well thursday thursday three deals i secured three deals and i'm to my own horn it's not no little boy bag either you feel me like when i really sat down and looked back at it i was like oh my god like i just did this you get what i'm saying and um like i said typically management does this i love my money you get what i'm saying and i know managers do a lot for the people that they're managing but right now in my life i love all of my money and i can't see myself giving 20 percent to somebody i just can't you know what i'm saying i just can't that's just me right now in my life period um but i actually have done like trial runs with managers or whatever it was cool right now in my life i don't think i need a manager i don't think i'm at the point where it's like it's so overwhelming i need somebody to you know manage this reply back to these emails and third no i don't think i need that at all one thing i do need i feel like i do need i feel like i'm just dragging it i might need an assistant because the content that i really have planned like i said it's a subtle rebrand right it's a subtle rebrand but like i'm stepping up my content like i've invested in my content like i invested in different um camera equipment everything everything's on its way actually i like the way that i want to do my content from now on it's like i need like seven people but I don't have seven people. I just have me. I mean, don't get me wrong. I have friends and family I might want to help. But, like, when I'm filming, I don't want nobody around me. Like, I just, I don't know if that's just me. I can't film with other people around me, like, at all whatsoever. Vlogs is cool. But, like, filming, like, an actual try on haul, whatever, I cannot do that with other people around me. So, it'll just be me. But, like, the way that I want to create my content, like, I'm really super duper excited. And I cannot wait for you guys to see this. Like, please be patient with me because it's really coming. It's coming full throttle at that. Um, but, yeah. I really just wanted to say this word or whatever to give any content creator or anybody the motivation to do what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Manifestation is key but you got to put the work in as well putting the work in is what's going to get it for you you have to actively work towards your goals you can't just be like i'm gonna manifest it yeah it's coming to me one day you got to work towards that shit period so yeah i'm super excited um but yeah like i'm just like looking at the brand looking at the brand list right now it's just like what the fuck? you get what i'm saying like i couldn't i couldn't imagine this but it's it's happening but i just wanted to like you know hop on here and just like share that energy like if you needed some motivation here i'm coming to you right now because like i haven't felt like this in so long i have not felt this motivated in so long like in so long and it's just like i'm so happy that i'm feeling like this because a few months back i couldn't even fathom the thought of feeling like this again because like i just been going through so much but i'm just super duper excited i don't want to talk too much about it but like i really want to start doing like a a free game even i'm still learning like this influencing sh myself i want to share as much as i like know to everybody because it's like y'all support me like y'all support me so the least i could do is like share valuable information so i better start pitching yourselves to these brands if you wanted to work with a brand pitch yourself right now 
You get what I'm saying? And I know some people are like, oh, you shouldn't be doing that because now everybody's gonna do No. You know how much, first off, money it is in this industry alone. That's one. Two, everybody can eat. You know what I'm saying? If I'm not a fit for one brand, somebody else might be a fit for another brand. Like, that's, that's how I see it. Everybody's gonna eat regardless. Like, so, I want everybody to eat. And I'm really, really... I'm just real happy. You feel me? Like, the price don't went up. The price been went up. But, like, right now, it really went up because, like, I'm really motivated. You know what I'm saying? I'm really motivated. But I have so much content that I have planned. And I don't want to just talk the talk. I'm going to show you guys. You feel me? I've invested a lot in the content that I have planned. And I really just want to execute it the way I have it envisioned in my mind. If it comes out the way that I have it envisioned... I'm sorry. I, I, I'm just, I'm just, I, I'm just in, like in awe right now. But if it comes out the way that I envision, I'm gonna be really, really happy. That's really all I've been doing for right now. I think I'm done replying back to emails. I know I shouldn't be replying back so late. It is what it is. They reply late to me too. Some of the brands are not even in the United States, so it's like it's completely fine. Like they're in a whole different time zone. I'm dumb hype. Like I'm dumb hype. I'm gonna be real. And I'm so happy that I'm really in this space right now. But um what do i have planned for tomorrow tomorrow is saturday well technically today is saturday right i don't really have much planned for tomorrow um i have oh yeah first off i was suffering with the like the worst cramps the past few hours like the worst cramps and i'm not a cramp person when my cycle is hit i'm just not i'm literally not a cramp person i'm easy going you will never think that i'm on my cycle y'all when i tell you i was in bed in fetal position like I couldn't even do nothing, but I was still shopping. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get that. But um, yeah, no. But it's gotten better right now because I've been walking around more, drinking some more water or whatever. But I don't know if it was all the walking that I did today that added on to the pain. Cause when I like got home and actually laid down, that's when I started feeling it. So I don't know if it's the cramps for me walking. I don't know, but I'm starting to feel better. Um, it's currently 1251. I'm going to still do some more like planning content planning like do more research but Yeah, that's basically that I'm not ending the vlog off here. Did you think I was no I wasn't but um, I kind of want to oh, actually have to go out tomorrow not go out but I have to go to physical therapy tomorrow and physical therapy Oh my god, it is so amazing like first off ever since my accident right my neck has been in shambles and like my upper back has been in shambles shambles like i cannot get a good night's rest for nothing like a good night's rest for nothing like i would go to sleep really late right like right now it's like one o'clock right but typically i've been going to sleep pretty earlier the only reason why i'm even up right now is because i'm excited but before today i would go to sleep around like 10 10 30 right boom wake up at 2 a.m i will not go to sleep until 6 a.m and then i will go back to sleep at 6 and wake up at 10 like my sleep schedule was just messed up like this whole thing just messed me up but physical therapy oh my god it has been helping so much i'm still in pain don't get me wrong but it's slowly healing and i feel like the difference every time i go to my chiropractor and do physical therapy because it really does help my body a lot if you've never been adjusted before this is your sign to go get adjusted, y'all. If you never had your neck cracked before, this is your time. I can't even do that, like, the way he does it. Like, I really cannot move my neck at all. Like, this, yeah. That's a whole, I'm not even trying to get into that right now. But, like, if you've never been adjusted before, go get adjusted. If you have any, like, pain, stiffness, soreness in your body, go get adjusted. You would have to be consistent with it to feel the results, but it is so worth it. Um, And I don't know why that's not freaking covered by insurance that's so weird but like yo every time my chiropractor crack my neck i'm just like damn like when he be, like he be cracking bones i didn't even think were there like he cracks bones that i want to crack myself but i cannot do it like the way he positions my neck he holds it like this that and i'm like oh my god i laugh every single time and like he knows i'm gonna laugh um i might vlog it tomorrow i highly doubt that i'm gonna vlog it tomorrow just because i don't know i don't know i don't think i'm gonna vlog it tomorrow but like yo he be cracking my neck so good like so good y'all have to go get adjusted like that's the one thing like go get adjusted and it's like yeah i know some people just hear like the bone cracking but like it's more so funny for me than like scary like it's just like boom. i'm just like ah! i'm like i hear everything and it's just it's just so good but i'm gonna um 
get off the camera for right now finish doing some more work even though i should be in bed going to sleep um because i have to get up within the next few hours because it's saturday and they close early on saturday so i can't go later in the day but i'm gonna finish this up real quick and go to sleep i took a shower and everything already yeah my wig is back on because i wanted to look cute while i was vlogging i'm gonna be real because best believe the peas is under this like <laughs> best believe the peas is right under this like it's right under, there's no wig cap straight peas you know what i'm saying so yeah i'll talk to you guys tomorrow for sure because i want to be consistent with this vlog um it might not be a weekly vlog it just might be like a calm little weekend vlog where have i been vlog so yeah push b yeah push b turn me up Corners in the paddock gave my peace Push a pee Cop no drama for my pee We don't want no peace Got a spot and cross back Get the peace Drop the data now we black Inside the peace She not a lesbian for peace She turned lesbian Push a pee Push a pee I'm capital P I write the president Count president Push a pee Push a pee She's on her knees My banana pee She let me squeeze Then she leave Cause she Rain literally came out of nowhere. It literally started pouring out of nowhere. So I was like, oh yeah, we're not going outside. So I literally just stayed home all day yesterday. And I was editing this vlog actually, because I want to have it up for you guys by tomorrow. But today is Sunday. This is more of a I am parched. Today is Sunday. It's not as hot as it was on Friday, but my hair was not like this. I had a cute slick back, had some two pieces in the front. It was skin a picture of it on the screen. It was so hot, my wig literally started lifting and sliding, and that's not cute. That's just not cute. I'm sorry. It's just not. So I put the scarf right on the lace. I went to Trader Joe's on 59th and 1st because um, I saw it on TikTok, and I liked how it looked. Oh, I have to go back into the picture because I want to take a picture of the inside. I just remember that. Um, because I got it for the vlog, but I didn't get it for like, you know, IG stories or whatever. But, yeah. I think I want to go to Roosevelt Island. Yeah, I promise I did not plan this. I was not like, oh, I'm gonna go do this, that, no. Everything is very impromptu. But, I saw the tram while I was walking over here. I was like, I want to get on that. So I went up to the top was like, Roosevelt Island tram. And the views is just amazing. And I feel like it'll make great vlog footage. But also, I really want to go to Roosevelt Island now. So I think I want to do that, but these groceries are heavy, and the bag that I have, it fits it, but it's like barely, so I'm thinking if I want to go to TJ Maxx, there's a TJ Maxx right next to me, and see if they have like those TJ Maxx bags, you guys know what I'm talking about, um, a bigger bag just so I can carry it and put like my bag and everything else in there, and if they do, it's up. We go on to Roosevelt Island, I gotta see how much is a tramp, hopefully it's free on the weekend, but it was such a long line. How much does it cost? It is $275. I'm going. 
Oh, I'm going. I'm going. Come on. Like, hello. This city is so beautiful. If you're from New York and like you don't know what to do, just go out and do shit by yourself. Like, that's literally it. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna check TJ Maxx and see if they have any of those big reusable bags, like the 199 bags. You guys know what I'm talking about. Marshall sell it. TJ Maxx, Home Goods, they sell it. Um, so I'm gonna see if they have that. And if they do. We up and if they don't, I'm gonna have to get like another bag, a smaller bag, or try to fit some of my groceries inside my actual like fanny pack. I think it'll be able to fit in there, but I don't really want to do that. But yeah, it's 275. But I look so sweaty. I know. Do not mind me. It is the summertime and it's hot. Okay, it's really hot. But I love my little fit for the day. It's real cute or whatever. It's basic as hell. It's literally a black body suit from some Forever 21 leggings that I cut up because I didn't have like biker shorts. So, yeah. And this is from Dollar as well. And I have all my off white dumps. It's basic as hell. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm going to talk to you guys uh, when I can see the max. Just so I can get out of this spot because I'm just talking, just to talk right now. As long as you guys have it, I'm happy. Yeah. Two for the price of one. That's the only design that you guys have. <laughs> Yeah. The dog? <laughs> yeah, it's only style. Mm -hmm. 109. 109? Mm -hmm. You guys, I'm going to cash up here? Yeah, okay. cash. I'll pay you. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to get the change. Okay, okay, okay. Because I know I have exact change. No worries. You want me to take one off? Yes, take please. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is 109. Right here. One ready to use. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for friends. I'm going to keep it to myself. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. So you guys, we're going to get this little design right here. American flag with a dog. It was $2 for a dollar. So I was like, I'm not going to get it. But that's the only design they had. So I'm going to just transfer everything into here. And then I can hear it. Because this is way bigger than the one that I have. And I just spent $3 at the Trader Joe's. I'm so upset. But I'm not upset. But it's just like, I should have thought about it. Um... But yeah, we're gonna do this and then go to work with the eyelash. I don't think I have to take everything off the table. I'll just put it right in here. And the fifth, everything is in here. We put the second one in here as well. And then we're gonna see. I'm gonna Google the information of the chain, so we just gotta walk over there because the line is actually pretty good. So I'm gonna see the information about the tram. I don't know how long I'm gonna be there for, but these freaking groceries are very heavy, and I have meat in here as well. So I really can't even be outside for too long. But I just wanna experience the tram. I've never written the tram before, and I wanna see what's on both of our islands. So. <laughs> yeah, we just on an adventure in this vlog. Yes, I'm trying to make myself a little brighter so you guys can see me properly. Me and how do I purchase it? Because oh when I went to Governor's, Governor's Island, I just purchased it Never. literally online. Not even purchased, reserved my ticket online. And that was it. Where do I pay? Question. Yeah. Do you know how to operate online? Or do I pay you pay before just like the bus. It's, oh, it's two seventy five. So I pay cash. Yeah, they have the Metro card machine. Oh, but yeah, yeah. Not the Metro card. Maybe. Maybe. Because I know they still have the the Metro card machine. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
59th Street. Roosevelt Island will definitely happen another day. Just not today because I do not feel like sitting on this line. So we might do it on like a weekday where nobody's here. So yeah. You got desires. I know, I know. You got desires. I know, I know. You got desires. And I'm not a liar. You had me down on my knees every time had to talk inside. I'm in an 80 and one of the twists. It's a prior. I try to pay all your loans so off and cop you a job. I had to stand too close to the city. You acting too vulnerable living this life. I still move your way through this before I cop you all this ice. You wanna be my number one? You're not hanging like the main thing. I let you play my number two. You barely made the second change. Put you somewhere where no one can find you. Fashion, I need sticks with nothing around you. Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know a different environment. But you got desires, I know, I know. But you got desires, I know, I know. But you got desires. Hey. Self control is never been a thing. Don't think it'll help. There's a ring. Where I'm from, they serve the soul of things. You come from a city where there's lean with the rocks. How the fuck you keep so many seeds? How you going to be getting pushed to be filled How the fuck you see so many beats? Tickets to them places don't come cheap. I see it back in the church, remember we took it at first. Get it, got you a whip, we ain't got back on the shit. I had to tell you where to get it. I'm always moving too fast, the feeling don't last. I feel like you're taking for granted. Probably my fault for the way that I handle it. You guys, I am back home. It is currently 6.40. I don't know where that accent come from. I don't. I said come. Came from. Um, it's 6.40. I'm home. And I know you guys are probably like, you just bought mad groceries and you just bought food. First off, that salad, it was from Fresh & Co. on 57th and 7th. It was so good. Y'all ever had a jerk chicken salad before? A jerk chicken salad. Like, come on. It was so good. I was like, nah, I had to get it. I made it my own though because I didn't like everything that was in there. It was like quinoa and stuff like that. I don't like that. <laughs> I'll be real. I don't like that. So, I was like, I just made it my own but I used the jerk chicken and y'all, it was so good definitely go check them out it was so freaking good um but yeah no i'm sorry i wanted to come home and relax like i was out on my feet all day i want to come home and relax sweating everything but to take a shower relax in bed and edit this vlog because i already posted on ig saying i'm coming back tomorrow at six o'clock so i can't be late i gotta come correct um did a countdown and everything and i usually don't do countdowns so i'm trying to surprise y'all but i was like you know what let me give you some warning because i'm coming back tomorrow well today if you're watching it but <laughs> yeah um that salad was mad good i'm sorry it was mad good first of all i was so full like i don't know salads have been really filling to me and previously i always thought salads never filled people up no salads fill people up they fill people up for sure for sure so yeah but yeah it was so freaking good definitely do recommend what do i have planned for tonight nothing i'm going to be in bed and I'm going to be editing. But I do want to say once again, thank you guys so much for like just being there and just being so patient with me because y'all, the inconsistency was real the past few months. But right now, 
nah it's a different timing was actually supposed to be filming today but i just didn't want to film not because like i'm not in the mood but i just was not fully prepared and i didn't want to half-ass it so that's why i didn't film even i said i didn't want to because i actually still want to film but i just wasn't fully prepared so i was like i might film another day but i don't know how that's gonna work because it might be a full house during the week i don't know it just depends some days are like my perfect filming days but i'll just play it by ear and we'll see when i can film but i'm definitely filming next week um invested in my content like i said so we're going someplace next week and i can't wait to vlog that for you guys but we're going next someplace next week getting mad content and so i actually have to prepare for that um the week that's coming up well technically this week and that's basically it i'm just gonna continue you know planning everything out just so i won't be overwhelmed and like wait until the last minute to try to get everything or not having an idea of how i want to film something you know what i'm saying so i think that's really what i'm gonna be doing for the rest of the night um but yeah thank you guys so much for being so patient with me like i really do appreciate y'all so much like so freaking much you guys have gotten me through a lot of shit like i'm gonna be real you feel me so yeah also we're this close to 100k and i feel like we can make it to 100k before the year ends like you know what i'm saying i don't want to put an exact date but the year ends <laughs> the year ends December 31st and i feel like we can make it to 100k i'm definitely gonna be putting in the work um so all i ask for you guys is just to like share me you know post me even though you guys do like up it a little bit more <laughs> if you don't mind um share me post me whatever because i'm trying to reach 100k like that's my goal before the year ends and i feel like we could definitely do it um we 15k away we're at 85k right now we could definitely do it so um and i already have the 100k giveaway plans so depending on how fast y'all get me there damn i'm gonna be blowing a bag but anyways yeah um yeah i have it planned low key so i'm really really excited so that's something that we're going to be working towards getting to 100k previously i wasn't really too pressed about it but i'm like yo it's right there like we we're basically right there so let's try to get to 100k and i'm gonna show off for y'all like i'm gonna just show off for y'all so yeah i'm gonna actually end the vlog off here because i really want to edit this vlog out perfectly like when i say perfectly i'm talking about like rewatch i rewatch my vlogs every single time like every single time so i just want to rewatch it and make sure everything is good for you guys so i'm going to end the vlog off here i love you julian so much and i will see you guys in my next one peace <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie i almost forgot how i end my own freaking videos i haven't done this in so long but i love you julian so much and i'll see you guys in my next one peace